welcome back to my channel my name is Brittany I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in today so if you're new don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to like the video don't forget to leave a comment let me know what you think of all the products so today what we're doing is we're doing a review on the Giorgio Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and we're also doing a review on the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer and it will also be my first time trying the Fenty Beauty by Brianna um, Concealer Contour Stick, the matte, the matte stick. So we're gonna review on those today. And honestly, y'all, I mean, y'all haven't seen the look, y'all haven't seen me do it yet, but 10 out of 10, you have to go get this foundation. Like this foundation, the concealer, everything, amazing. This is what it looks like. These two products are the stars of the video today. Anyway, so that is what we're doing a review on today. And I hope you guys enjoy this look and enjoy this video. And thank you so much for the support. And yeah, if you wanna see how I got this look and check out the review, then just keep watching. So first things first, I'm gonna start off with my Bobbi Brown primer this is the best primer ever i love it it's so moisturizing my face is really already <laughs> super like moisturized from the moisturizer that i use i like to use the belief true cream but i'm still gonna prime my face with the bobby brown yeah. all right so we are all primed and the next thing I'm going to do is just, um, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. And I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Brow, brow Pencil, Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat. My color is, I don't know, I'll have it down below. I don't really know what my color is, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm just going to do my brows really quickly. Honestly, I don't even like my brows that dark anymore because I don't know. I just don't feel like it looks good. Okay. And I am in Florida at the beach, so I don't have everything that I need. But what I'm going to do, I'm still going to do my eyeshadow. And I'm just not going to be able to, like, carve my brows, which is okay. Like, I'm not, I don't really have to do that. So yeah, I'm just gonna do my eyeshadow real quick. And I'm gonna use, um, I don't know how to say this, but this palette is called the Ciate London, Ciate, Ciate London. I don't really know. This is the palette. These are the colors I'm using. I really like this palette. So I'm gonna be using this palette today and I'm also gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill palette, which is, I mean, everyone's favorite. Actually, I don't even know what it is. Let's see. Okay, yeah, so I'm also going to be using the um, Jaclyn Hill palette. Mine is super dirty because I love it so much. And I always like to use this color, which is um, Pucky, Pookie, Pookie. Ha! Huh. I think it's Pookie. Yeah, I like to use Pookie and I like to use um, Mocha. Pookie and Mocha as my base. I'm using the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Concealer. Well, the Shape Tape Concealer. My color is 47S, which is tan deep sand. And I'm just gonna really just take this on my lid. Yeah, put this on my lid. And I'm just gonna 
Moving on my lid with my finger. So, anyways, yeah. Honestly, y'all, I really, I'm not the best person to do makeup. And I know I'm sitting here doing a makeup tutorial or I guess a makeup review, like I'm some makeup guru. But honestly, I really just wanted to try these products. Well, I wanted to try the Giorgio Armani Foundation and Concealer. So I'm just showing y'all like basically like my reaction to using it. But yeah, I'm I'm, I'm an esthetician, but I'm not uh, anyway. Also y'all, sorry, I'm on vacation. So if y'all hear any background noise, like please forgive me because my cousins, they're playing video games right now. They're playing Fortnite and if y'all have cousins, or siblings, or if y'all play Fortnite, y'all know how it is. It gets it gets deep, okay? It gets real deep. Anyway, so I did just want to say, I know I haven't been like consistent with YouTube, but. I'm really, I'm really, I'm not OCD, but I like for things to look a certain way. I like to feel a certain way when I'm making my content because honestly, like I just want the best content ever. Like I want quality to be great. Like I want everything to be great. I want everything. I want all the aesthetics to look good, girl. So like when I'm not consistent, it's really because I'm brainstorming or I'm, or I'm getting things together or I'm just working. That's really what it is. I'm just working. And I've just had a lot of just, I've been hitting reset on my life and on people in my life and on my bad habits. I've been making change and just, you know, trying to do things different, trying to just move different and be a different person. So it takes a lot of, I just have to recuperate. But I'm back and I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming for y'all. Y'all see this setup? Y'all see this? I'm learning. Yeah, that's just my, I'm sorry, I guess. So I'm just freestyling this look. I'm about to take this gray color and <clears throat> I'm gonna put, excuse me. I'm about to take this gray color and I'm gonna put that on my lid as, I guess, my color. I'm, gonna, I'm very basic, natural. But that's going to be my pop of color. I love my favorite pencils. This part I cannot multitask, but yeah. basic eyeshadow. And now let's get into this foundation, the star of the show. All right, so the Luminous Silk Foundation by Giorgio Armani. Boo. So this is 30 milli, I think it's 30 something fluid ounces, okay? My number is, my shade is number 10. All right, so it says to shape well. That's the really first thing it says is to shape well. I'm also gonna wet my beauty. I'm, pop, I'm either gonna use my beauty blender or I'm gonna use my um, foundation brush by IT for Ulta. This is the airbrush blurring foundation brush. I love this brush so much. I'm about to clean it real quick. All right, and this is the br best brush ever. My favorite foundation brush, and it's just so, and I just like to, anyways, all right. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so the Luminous Silk Foundation, this foundation, Wow, 
It's super sleek. I love the packaging. Let's just get into it. Mm -hmm. And she color matched me um, in the store. I hate Sephora's lighting when they're when they color match you. Um, I hate when they color match you away from the like the ring lights and stuff and they just do it on the floor like right at the stands but whatever if this doesn't match I can just go and get another shade because I'm actually about to go back over there mm, I love the smell of this foundation it, I, it just smells clean my skin is so trash right now every time i come to florida my skin i break out in hives i also got bit by a spider y'all are wondering what this is i got bit by a spider at home in atlanta and i'm just so freaking annoyed by that whoa this is the this is the perfect shade for me my perfect summer shade wow and i haven't put any on my forehead because really my forehead is like i'm probably gonna put concealer here first just to oh my god look how glowy my skin looks like silk this is just one layer And it's super lightweight, like, mm, I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more just to get, like this is full coverage, but I'm just, I wanna do another layer. So I'm gonna put it on my wrist just to control it. It's, it's not, it's thick, but it's not like a crazy kind of thick. Cause I've been using the Givenchy foundation I normally use the Givenchy foundation and I really, really like that. And that's the only foundation that has ever matched my skin. Um, that's the only thing that has ever just matched my skin without me having to mix it. OMG. Honestly, one pump is, I just have a lot of imperfections, so I need a lot, but if you have flawless skin, I really think a pump and a half is all you need. But here's like my problem. Do y'all see this? All right, so now I'm just gonna. Oh my God, this even, this even looks perfect on my forehead. Wow, wow. All right, for $64 US dollars, I'm here for it. Packaging is beautiful. Like, wow, like I'm happy. I love this. I really love this. Y'all see this? Matches my ears perfectly. Okay, all right, all right, that was amazing. So let's let's go ahead and conceal. So um, I'm using the yeah Giorgio Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Multi Purpose Glow Concealer. My shade is seven point five, so I wanted something that was gonna be something brightening for me. I let her match me myself. Normally I use the Smashbox. I normally use Smashbox. I use like a yellow concealer, light, medium, warm, golden. I use that one. It's so yellow. <laughs> Literally, it's so yellow. All right, so let's see. So 
This is the packaging for it. And I forget what this retails for. Let's see. Yeah, so this retails for $38 at Sephora. And I also got the foundation for $64 at Sephora. We don't bring it down no more. We don't do that no more, okay? So we'll put it here. We'll put it here. That's the way, the TikTok wave. Let's see. Let's see, boo. Hmm. So I just got my damp beauty, but oh my God. This is full coverage. Oh my God. That just instantly made me look hydrated. Like I'm super dehydrated, I haven't got any sleep. Y'all better go get this. Y'all better go get this. I'm gonna do another layer because I'm addicted to concealer, but just because my nose is so wide, I just like it here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put it here too. Maybe I'll put it here. Got a little spot right there. All right. I really should have color corrected, but I didn't. I don't have any of my stuff with me. <laughs> Doing something new, so y'all please bear with me. But what we're about to do now is contour. Y'all see these sheet bones? I don't need a lot of contour. But I wanna try something new. I wanna do a cream contour for the first time. So I got the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Match Stick and my shade is Espresso. This is the match, the matte, the matte match stick. That's a good cool. Yeah. And then my shade is Espresso. I've heard great things about this. So this is what we're gonna cream contour with. No, you gotta bring everything to your hairline. All right, I'm fucking here. Ooh, packaging. Packaging. I mean, I'm sure y'all already know about this. This product is in the newest, but I heard it's. I heard it's about. Ooh, and you can twist it up and down. All right, so I'll just twist it up a little bit. So I know you, you go here, here, a little bit here, a little bit here, and what else on the side of the nose? Ooh, ooh. You chunky right there. See, this side is more snatched than this side. Because I have TMJ. So, whatever. Alright, so 
I'm gonna use my same foundation brush on my forehead just to see what happens. Wait, I'm gonna do one side with the beauty blender, one side with the foundation brush. Okay, my camera cut off on me while I was contouring. Um, I need more than this. Like, it looks so natural. That's what I like about this stick. But I feel like I just want to be snatched a little bit more. I don't know which one I like better. I like the brush because I can control it. I just think I need a smaller brush. I think I need something like this, but smaller. So that I'm not wearing out anything else. But this is this is the wave. Like, look at this. Like, look at how that just shrunk my forehead. Yes! I alright. <laughs> Period. Period, period, period. Okay, I love it. So now, let's bronze it up, boo. Let's bronze it up. I mean, y'all can call me old school if y'all want to. I don't really care, but you know, we gon' we definitely are, we definitely still using the True Complexion by Black Radiance. Yeah, True Complexion by Black Radiance, right? Black, whatever. I'm using medium to dark. I'm gonna just use this little pencil. Whatever. I'm just gonna take the middle one because I already did my contour shade. And you know, I'm just gonna. No, I need a big one. I need a big brush. Yeah, I'm gonna use this. I'm just gonna bronze up. I'm trying to go for super fast because the camera is dying. Now we're about to take the Laura Mercier. I mean, y'all, y'all should already know y'all need to be using Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier translucent powder powder. I do want to do want to get the honey one, but at the same time, it's like I like the translucent too. You know, it ain't if it ain't broke, don't don't fix it. Like watch what I'm doing now with this. I just put it in my eyes. Just like this. And what this is gonna do is just gonna brighten me up automatically. Take a little bit more. This is just gonna snatch you. Snatch, snatch, snatch. that I really need. Oh, don't you hate when you leave your good stuff at home when you're on vacation? I'm just gonna use this. Uh, I think this is Morphe. Yeah, Morphe 536 brush. And we're back. It's okay. And now what we're gonna do, see I brought that too high. So now my cream contour is a little messed up. Whatever, my face still snatched, cheekbones still hot glue. So now we're gonna take this Charlotte Tilbury. This is my new gem. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Protection Micro Powder in Three, which is tan, also Zoré. Tan, Zoré in French, okay? So, I think it's French, I don't really know. Yeah, Charlotte Tilbury, 
London. Hmm. And I'm just gonna do the same thing, kind of. And now, I'm just gonna go in and sweep it under my eyes. It just does something that the Lord Mercier doesn't do. I'm just using this brush to get in the crevices. I don't want to go over my whole face with this because I like how, I do like how this, um, this silk foundation makes me look dewy. So I don't want to go over my whole face with this today, but I am going to go in my problem areas with it because it just snatches me up, girl. My camera is overheating, so that means hurry the fuck up. And now we're gonna go in with blush, and that's the thing I'm going to use is the NARS Savage. The color is Savage, and this is the NARS blush. Oh my God. Did y'all hear about the Dior blush that Kylie Jenner uses? I'm going to get that today. I'm going to get it today. Anyway, so this is the shade. This is what it, this is what it looks like. And honestly, I'm just gonna take this brush, this big brush, go around this blush with it. And oof, chat. That's a lot. But I mean, we're at the beach, so it really don't matter. You can bronze it up, blush it up. No, they say you're really a bad bitch. Put it above your eyebrow. That's what Kyra said, so that's what we're doing. We're gonna do that. I just got into blush. Like, normally, the way I used to be, I used to be so insecure about my cheeks because they were so big. Like, I literally used to stand in the mirror when I was a kid and I used to push my cheekbones down because I didn't see a lot of people with high cheekbones, so I didn't know that it was like normal or if it was like the thing that everybody wanted to do, wanted to have, so I was like, Insecure about it, but now I'm just like, yeah, we blushed out. So yeah, I'm about to put these lashes on, and I'll be right back to show y'all what we're putting on my lips. Be right back. The light went off, so I just I did want to go in and highlight my face. So I'm using the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil. I'm gonna use the Mojito Mojito color. And it's just a blue highlight. Oh my god. Y'all can't see it. But it's really blue and it's really pretty. And I'm just gonna do it with my finger. Go across my nose with it a little bit. And rub it down my bridge of my nose with a clean finger. Um above my lip. Wow. My cupid spell. And I'm just gonna take my fan brush. Whoa. So I'm gonna take my fan brush. I'm gonna dust across it. I'm just gonna highlight with it. Just to give myself a nice glow. And now we looking, we looking like we at the beach now, okay? <laughs> anyway, yeah, girl. Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. And I just want to say, tune in to my next videos. I will be uploading a vlog very soon, probably after this video. So turn on your notification bells. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the foundation if you're going to go purchase this yourself. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day, week, whenever you watch this. And I just want to say thank you so much. <laughs>